In this video, I saw an exercise that was asked by one student. The exercise says like this. Arrivals of customers at a telephone booth follow Poisson distribution with an average time of 10 minutes between one arrival and the other. The length of the phone call is assumed to be distributed exponentially with a mean of 3 minutes. Find a. The average number of persons waiting and making telephone calls. b. The average length of the queue that is formed from time to time. c. The probability that the customer arrive and find telephone booth is busy. And finally, the probability that the customer arrive and find that the telephone booth is empty. So for answering this, I will be using the basic queuing theory. And for that, I will be taking into account that the first distribution is a Poisson distribution. So the distribution that model the number of customers arriving at this telephone booth is a Poisson distribution. That means that the, the time between the arrivals will be exponentially distributed. There will be here another random variable that is the time that the customer spends in the call. And this is, again, exponentially distributed. When that happens, when the time of the arrival of customer is exponentially distributed, and the time when the customer uses the server is also exponentially distributed, then we can say that this is an MM1Q. So, and this one refers that is only one server. So we have only one telephone booth. We are going to use these symbols. First, lambda is the mean rate of arrival. The average time is 10 minutes between one arrival and the other. So it means that we have a, a, lambda, a lambda that is equal to 0 0.1. So we have that lambda equals 0 0.1 customer per minute. We are going to symbolize as mu the mean service rate of arrival. And we see here that the mean time that the customer spend in the phone call is three minutes. So it means that it's one over three customers per minute. So we are going to type here that mu in this case is one over three customer per minute. So we have lambda, we have mu, and we have a set of formula. Some of these formulas for the queuing theory are intuitive, some others need a, a proof. So I will be using another video for proving some of the, of the formulas here. So the first formula that we have is that rho equal lambda over c mu. We have lambda, we have mu, and, and this rho is what we call the utilization of the service or the probability that the server is busy. C will be the number of servers, so in this case, C equal one. LQ is the average number of customers in the queue. So we are going to symbolize as L sub Q, the average number of customers in the queue. And LQ will be given if, if we, we have an MM1Q. So we have that LQ will be rho to the power two, divided by one minus rho. So we need to know first what is rho to know what is L sub Q, the number of customers in the queue, or the average number of customers in the queue. By the way, this is one of the questions, the average length of the queue that is formed from time to time. This question, utilization of the server, if you notice, is, the quest is question of C probability that the customer arrive and find te the, te the telephone booth is busy. So we have L sub Q equal rho squared divided by one minus rho. And WQ is the average waiting time in the queue. So we have also a formula for this. WQ, the, the, the average waiting time in the queue will be LQ divided by lambda. So this obviously is related, the LQ is the 
average number of customers in the queue and lambda is the average number of customers arriving to the queue. We have some other formulas that we use in queuing, the in queuing theory. L, the average number of customers in the system. So we are going to symbolize by L the average number of customers in the system. In the system. And this average no, and this is actually question A here. The average number of persons waiting and making telephone calls. And this is given by L equal lambda W. Remember again, this lambda is the average rate of arrival. So this is the Poisson distribution parameter. W will be then the average waiting time in the system. So W is the average waiting time in the system. While W sub Q is the average waiting time in the queue, here this W is the average waiting times in the queue and also making telephone calls. So this is actually question A here. So we are, we are going to use this formula to solve questions A. So you see then that the questions are given in a different order that we are going to answer them. For example, immediately we can find what is the probability that the customer arrives and find telephone, that the telephone booth is busy. Because this, we can use the formula, this formula immediately. So we know that C equals 1. So we are going to put here 1 and lambda divided by, by mu, both are given. After we have this, immediately we can find question D. The probability that the customer arrive and find a telephone booth is empty. So it's not busy. So if we know this, we are going to solve this 1 minus this. And finally, when we have the value of rho, that is question C, we can answer questions B, the average length of the customer that is formed from time to time. So this is the average number of customers in the queue. So and that will be given by this formula. We have rho, will be easy to, to solve it. Then we can think a little about how to solve this question because we don't have W. However, there is a formula for W and this is an intuitive formula. So the waiting times in the systems will be equal to the waiting times in the queue plus the waiting times in the server. In this case, in the telephone booth, that is will be one divided by mu, obviously. If this mu is 1 over 3, 1 over mu is 3. And this is given in the question. The average times in the, in, in the telephone booth is actually the average times of the phone call. So this 1 over mu is 3. So W is almost given. You, you need to find first W Q, sub Q. And W sub Q is given here. It's given by this formula. So it looks that we can solve questions A also. Let's solve questions C first. So the probability that the customer arrives are find a tele that the telephone booth is busy. So we know that lambda equals 0 0.1 customer per minute. So this is given when they, they told me 10 minutes between one arrival and the next. And mu equals 1 over 3 customer per minute. And then we can use the formula rho equal lambda over c mu. And there is, so remember, c is the number of servers. In this case, we have one telephone booth. So this c is, is one. So lambda over mu equal 0 0.1 divided by 1 over 3. And this is 0 0.3. So we have the answer of question c. For answer question D, it will be obvious. If this is the probability that, that the server is busy, the probability that the server is not busy, that is the probability that the telephone booth is empty, it will be 1 minus rho. And 1 minus rho will be 0 0.7. So we have solved question D. For solving questions, then, then we can solve question A and B. For solving question A, so we have now lambda equals 0 0.1, mu equal 1 over 3, customer per minute, and now we have another information, rho equals 0 0.3. And then 
what will be the average length of the queue that is formed from time to time. So the length of the queue is something that we can solve now. So let's answer question B first. The average number of customers in the queue, we know that is given by this formula. L sub Q equal rho squared divided by one minus rho. So it will be 0 0.3 squared divided by one minus 0 0.3. This is 0 0.09. This is 0 0.7, so divide 0 0.09 divided by 0 0.7, and this is 0 0.1286. So it is missing the only one question. Question A, the average number of persons waiting and making telephone calls. So the average number of persons in the system. So it will be the average question, the average number of customers in the system. We have the formula that is L equal lambda times W. We know lambda that is 0 0.1. We don't know W yet, but we know that this W is given by the, or the waiting time in the system with the waiting time in the queue plus the time in the, in the servers, the times in the telephone booth. And we know that this is one over mu. So this is three minutes, one over mu. Remember this mu is one over three, one over mu is three minutes. It's given here, yeah? So we have that W equal W sub Q plus three minutes. So we need to find W sub Q, but we have a formula for W sub Q. And W sub Q, the average waiting times in the Q is given by the length of the Q divided by the rate of arrival, that's right? lambda, divided by lambda. So it will be L sub Q, that is 0 0.1286, divided by 0 0.1. And this is 1.286. So we have W sub Q. So we can substitute this in this formula to get W. So this will be 1.286 plus 3. So one over one over three, that this is three. So it will be three plus this will be 4.286. That means that the average waiting time in the system, in the system. So taking into account the time in the telephone booth, waiting for the person to, to finish the call and the next person, etc. the person that are in the queue. So it will be, the, 4.286. So now we have W, just make a substitution here, and we are going to have the, le the, the length of the of, 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 of the length or the number of persons in the system, or the number of persons waiting and making telephone calls. So let's see, it will be 0 0.1 multiplied by 4.286. And this is 0 0.4286, 0 0.4286. So in average, we have 0 0.4286 person of customers uh, waiting and making telephone calls. Okay, with this, I finish this problem. I hope you can find it useful. Thank you.